Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 3rd, 4th, and 5th. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now this is a general reading, and yes, I'm going to be using a few decks. I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. And in this general introduction, I will use one, I will pull a few cards from my Rider Await deck. Okay? Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? I am an intuitive channeler. That means I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Any mess, any cards that are laid down, if they are reversed, just know that this is a little stronger energy, a stronger meaning. Pay attention to it. Pay attention also to uh, the numbers. Pay attention to the archangels that pop up also, because they don't pop up with every reading, but they can help you get through whatever it is you need to get through. Okay, now, um, let's see, on the 6th, on the 6th, we do have our new moon, which is in Virgo. I think it's in the evening around 8, 8.50, I think, p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so I do put that, I do have that in, um, that listing under my, under my Virgo reading in my YouTube. So you might want to take a look at that. I want to say we have been having lots and lots of energy spikes. We're having a lot of solar flares. We're having a lot of things that are happening in the world. And a lot of times when this is happening, you know, please know that, you know, my heart, my prayers goes out to everyone that has been affected by a lot of the world events. Also know that when these things are happening, we, that's kind of acute for us that we need to keep our vibrations higher because it feels like in many ways that we're being like pounded, pounded down. But I told you back in December, this is all about Saturn in Aquarius. It is about illusion versus reality. And a lot of times reality is not easy to take. But we are seeing things more and more. And again, keep your consciousness high. Keep your consciousness on whoever that is to you. I call my higher power. That could be your guardian angel, your spirit guide, your voice of the universe, your divine, the source, whoever that is for you. So it's kind of like keep your eyes on the sky. Keep your eyes in the sky um, because we are, you know, it is always darkest before the dawn. But we actually, our energies, we are going through major metamorphoses. Um, you know, many of you have probably have heard, you know, going from a 3D consciousness to a 4D to a 5D. There is so much going on and we just have to stay, we just have to stay positive. We just have to have faith. Okay, now, because we are the light, we are, and we are, you know, I'm sorry, but we are battling the dark. Now, may, a lot of times the dark's needed for us to enjoy and appreciate the light, but I think we've had enough. So let's, uh, but we still have a lot of energies going on, and uh, let's just take a deep breath. We get through all of this together. Now, let's see what the overall for the weekend is going to be. First card, the hanged man. Okay, now the hanged man, this is reversed, and this is a 12. So remember ones, and again, remember the numbers. Numbers speak loudly. So ones, new beginnings, tens are transitional. One, new beginning, zero is God, source, universal energy. Then we have our two. Twos are about choices. Twos are also about coming together, but a lot of times it's about our pathways. We have choices. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? So the world is facing a major choice right now, or the universal energies are facing major choices. Now, you can take the, 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 you know, the 10 and the 12, you can add them all up. It becomes a 3. 3 in itself has a lot of power. It is the Trinity. There is the power of 3. It is also about being creative creative creativity it's also about the creation now the hanged man is looking at things a little bit differently and again what i was talking about with you know um saturn and aquarius and i've been saying that since december of last year you know we have to look at things a little differently 
It's not necessarily easy, so there could be something that comes up that we just have to not necessarily take at face value. We need to delve in and see what secrets it's what secrets needs to be uncovered. Okay, next card is the Emperor. Now, we have a four. So fours is about um, organization, leadership. It's also stability. The Emperor has a lot, you know, the Emperor is one of the major arcana so is the hanged um the hanged man uh, right now i'm kind of getting the emperor in in my angel tarot decks is michael michael or and you know that is well i'm sorry the emperor michael is the um protector he is the defender he comes in with his um you know with his sword the you know the flaming sword flaming sword of truth righteousness type of energy this is also, this could also be um, governmental type of energy. This could also be leadership type of energy. So something could be, you know, something between the hanged man and the emperor. Both of these, again, major arcanas, more global type or universal type of energies going on. Next card, the lovers. Okay, so now we have a six. So we have actually, we have 12, one, two, four, six. Six is the number of man. This is the energies we put into, into whatever it is that we are doing. Something it looks like it's going to be affecting the, the, you know, the, the number of man, the man energy. Now, the lovers is a, is a kind of an odd uh, you know, energies. Many people think it's the coming together of a relationship, and it could be that. You know, a lot of people, if they're you know, looking for love and they get the lovers, they're like, oh, my goodness, this is wonderful. The lovers doesn't always mean that, but they're, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not, but it, you know, it doesn't always mean coming together on that type of sense but it could be coming together in an emotional energy, coming together in a positive energy. But the lovers is also, this would be Archangel Raphael, who is the angel of healing. And healing isn't comfortable. You know, ask anyone who's gone to physical therapy, as I, I, I like to say. Healing can be painful. Healing can hurt. But we need to get it all out in order for us to continue healing. So there is some very emotional energy going on this weekend. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting here that the man is looking at the woman, the woman is looking up at the divine, and then the divine is, you know, has hands over both. He has hands over both and kind of looking in the middle. So doesn't really favor one over the other. It, so it's, it's, it's going to be kind of an interesting um, weekend. I do look for, you know, again, going back to the hanged man. I think the hanged man in the, in the tarot cards that I use a lot of times, Radley Valentine, I believe that would be Gabriel. Gabriel is the divine messenger. Um, also transmutes a lot of energy, you know, negative energy into love. So, you know, all of these um, cards, they do have very, very strong energy. They are more global they are more universal they're not the day-to-day -day, such as the minor arca arcana so there, there's something happening we've all been feeling it we've all been feeling major shifts going on so again you know this is this these all of these cards have very strong hopeful type of energy now the uh, the interesting thing is if you look on these cards if ever you want to ask a yes or no um card um, you know, so here we have a no, here we have a yes. I mean, a yes or no kind of question. Here we have a no, here we have a yes. But the lovers tells us it could be either yes or no. So, you know, so it's just how are we going to deal with it? How are we going to take this as a collective, as together? But you're here, you are here with me. We are together because we have been, I believe, we have been chosen to keep our vibrations elevated, um, you know, more is still to come, but we can do this together. The other thing is to know that even though the world and the universe and the global energies may feel very, very strong and may try to overwhelm us, you know, like I, I've been starting to say, no matter what the world throws at us, we still have to live in the day-to-day. -day. We still have to live in the present, okay? And having said that, oh, Having, now, one more thing. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. You help keep my channel on, on air. But 
Having said all of that now, let's start our readings. Hello, my Sagittarius. How are you? I hope wonderful. Oh, I, you know, I just love your energy. And, you know, I, I, you know, you, 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 you're quirky. But you're also, you got that mischievousness that, you know, as a fellow fire sign, you know, I'm a Leo, that I, I just totally buy into. I hope you're feeling positive. I hope you're, I know that you can be very serious and you can do what you need to do. But I just hope that you just feel, I hope you're feeling a little mischievous this weekend. Anyway, let's see what, yeah, um, you did get something over on someone in the right way, in the right way. It was needed, okay, whoever that was for. Anyway, let me know, let me know. Let's see what we have for my Sagittarius's. Okay. Reversed, reversed. Strong energy. First card. The star. So now we have a 17. So 17, one and a seven. One new beginning. Could be a 10. 10 is a transition. And then the zero of the 10 is divine, uh, you know, divine energy. It is our source. It is, you know, higher power. Seven has the divine umbrella. To me, sevens are about, it's a divine number. Sevens are about you, basically, whatever you're doing, it's watched over. So it, it could be that it's blessed, or you could have a little course correction at the same time. But it's always for your greater good. The star, make a wish, have a dream. Things are happening around you the way that you've been wanting them to go. Archangel Jophiel. Uh, Jophiel, I think, has a lot of um, creativity energy, but, you know, you might want to look Jophiel up. But you can take the 1 and 7, add it together, it can become an 8. But again, the star, wishes come true, make a wish. Things happen the way you've been wanting them to happen. Maybe you need to watch it a little bit and make sure that it is the way you want, but there is a lot of um, positive vibes with the star. Okay, let's go on. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. That's very reassuring. I like that. Next card, the Ace of Water. So now we have a 1, 7, and that 1 again, because Aces are 1s. 1s are new beginnings. Water energy is our Scorpio. Remember, Vir, um, not Virgo, uh, well, it's while well, it's in Virgo, but Venus is going to be transfer, trans, the, transiting into Scorpio. I think it's next week. I can't, I'm not sure, but um, you may want to take a look at my, you know, one of my blogs that I did on Virgo season, but, um, you know, and then we also have the full moon in two weeks after the new moon, it will be in Pisces. So there's going to be a lot of that Pisces and Scorpio energy. It's also cancer. It's fluid, emotional. It's very much driven by, but it's also very spiritual. It, it's kind of like, the, you know, kind of being swept along and just kind of, uh, you know, just imagine that you're in a canoe without a paddle and the energies are bringing you to safety, but they're also bringing you to adventure. They're also bringing you to a new, a newer place. And then sometimes you can find a paddle, and sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just kind of going with the current. I'm not going to say going with the flow, because it's the flow can be a little bit uh, pushing you forward. But this is falling in love, woohoo, or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. It's also about a new home. I like that. Next card, reversed. The Queen of Water. So you have a lot of emotional commitment here. So Queen's underlying energy is water. So this is water, water. Queen stand in her um, power. But this is emotional commitment. So is this, what is this for? What is it that you've been dreaming of? What is it that you've been wishing for, my, my Sagittarius? Is because it looks like, it looks like wishes could be granted this weekend, or you could be starting on that new path, that new kind of like letting the energies just float you along, letting higher power just guide you along. But the queen of water to me, now the queen of water can have a little bit of manipulation energy to her, but she's always trying to do it for the right reasons. I don't necessarily feel that for you, my Sagittarius. I just feel that this is a strong commitment strong commitment to whoever it is that she needs to be committed to. So so is so is that to a family? 
Is that to a job? I feel it's a little more, per I feel it's a personal. It's not just a job. If this was a job, then it's something that you've been wanting so much. It's something that you're committed to. So I think it has a lot more personal energy to this. It could be an intimate energy. It's something that you just feel the rightness and the righteousness, and you are just very committed to seeing it through. Okay, whatever that's going to mean. Anyway, tell me. Let me know. Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. This is someone really, really caring. Okay, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So we do have the enhanced intuition and we do have trust your intuition. And we do have you are on the right path. Okay, let me know. You know, Debbie doesn't like to go down the romantic path. I don't know. I think I'm a little bit of a realist. What is a realist? They say it's an experienced optimist. So it's kind of like... So, but... What is it you've been wishing for, my Sages? What is it, you know, because it looks very much like things are moving the right way for you. Okay, let's go on and do this. Here we go. This is reversed. The page of Michael. Now, okay, this is kind of fun for you, though. This is fun for you because it's not... You know, sometimes things can be, like I said, you ha there was a little mischievousness here. There's a little, because sometimes you don't want things to be too, you know, you need a little bit of that, um, of that challenge, okay? And the page, page's underlying energy is earth. That is your, your um, Virgo, Capricorn. It's also your, um, your Taurus energy, money energy, you know, tangible type of energy. But Michael is your air energy, your Libra, your Aquarius. It's also your Gemini, your thought processes. So there's always there's always a little bit of a puzzle. There's always a little bit of a challenge. So even though this is going along really good, this is what this is the fun part. This is the challenge. This is where you get really involved and you're kind of like, oh, okay. You want to challenge the Sagittarius? Okay. I am more than ready. I am more than ready for anything you can throw at me. So this has kind of this mischievousness. This has kind of this, yeah, okay, let's get it done. But it's not, I don't feel that it's mean. I just feel that it's kind of like, okay, let the fun begin. Let the fun begin. Because pages are also optimistic. Pages have that youthful energy that sometimes we need to have in our own lives. Truthful, perceptive, analytical, blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So that is one thing. I'm not a lawyer, so make sure if there are contracts or documents, have someone review them. Anyway, this is, you know, let the fun begin. This is all, this is let the, yeah, I, I, okay. So now what, what, what numbers do we have really to look at? We have a 171. Take a look at those numbers. See what they what they have. Now, one thing, like I said, you can put in the search browser, put 171, and then put angel numbers behind it and see what that has to bring you. What crystal or energy for my Sagittarius do we have? Reversed. Angel light. I wish I could reach over and get my angel light. I just can't. Anyway, angel light is about angel communication, clairvoyance alignment it's also about dream insights hmm. what have you been dreaming about i like it let the fun begin okay so my sagittarius is remember the button please like share subscribe click on the bell notification also comment i want to know what this is about <sighs> okay now Remember, this is the most important thing. No matter what the world throws at us, my Sages, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.